Yeah, man. And back when you only had like five channels and you, you, if you wanted to watch something, you had to watch it then or you may have never seen it again. Man, if you took a nap and stayed up all night, you had to watch that damn a little X uh, sound, whatever it was. Dude, and you hit, hit the national anthem. Dun, the dun, national dun, anthem. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, you, I, I hated when I was sick because you had nothing to watch past midnight but Cal Worthers and commercials, dude. And every once in a while, he may have a decent something on. Most of the time, he was playing old, old ass movies, like Abbott and Costello and Frankenstein and shit like that, dude. It was not the business, all right? Yeah, you kids don't know that there was a time where TV stopped. TV there no stopped. 24, like at, I don't know, two in the morning or something like that, they would play the national anthem and then yes. shit went dark for the next four or five hours. This concludes, this concludes this broadcast day. At this time, we'll play the national anthem we will see you tomorrow. The program will resume at 6 a.m. And that was it. Now, all t- now, now you, what you could do, though, what you could do is go to UHF. That, it, it, was, it was UHF and VHF, okay? UHF, yeah. That was anything above 13, basically, right? Right. Now, you might find something in another language. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you VHF, I think it was. Some okay, Benny Hill or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, you might find something like that. Other than that, man, you stuck. Give me some, give me uh, some Nyquil or something. Take my, take my ass go to bed. <laughs> yeah, man, that's crazy. Hey, uh, we're about halfway through the show, so I want to take this time to remind everybody to please hit that like button if you have not already. If this is your first time joining the channel and you like what you hear please do hit that subscribe button. You are tuned in to NWA Stories with Lonzo, where we drop the realness about West Coast hip hop. None of that Hollywood stuff, none of that made up stuff. You're going to get the real story here. So if you want the real story of West Coast hip hop, you got to come and join our channel. Thank you to the 15,000 subscribers. Thank you to the chat fam. I love my chat fam. I love our chat fam, fam, Lonzo. Man, real talk. They are so dedicated and dope and they're true supporters, man. I don't call you guys fans. You guys are supporters. More importantly, you guys are like family. Um, so thank you each and every one of you out there. And lastly, make sure you check out Lonzo's documentary, Eve After Dark, on Tubi and Prime as well. Right, Lonz? Tubi, Prime, and the Compton Entertainment Channel. That's my channel. Watch it on my channel, folks. I need to... Uh, Actually, need to break that. Tell them again. That, I think we should push that. If true supporters, listen to this right here. I have my own television channel, folks. It's called the Compton Entertainment Channel. It's on Roku, Fire Stick, Amazon, all the platforms. You can watch it on your phone. You can watch it on your TV. Um, go to um, independent movies, and you'll see our version, a right, of Eve After Dark on our own channel, complete with commercials and a whole nine yards, folks. We're doing it like that. All right? Much love. I appreciate you. Much love, much love. Let's keep it pushing, Lonzo. Uh, let's talk some hip hop, some West Coast hip hop, a group that was one of the first groups that I, you know, made me fall in love with, with this genre, with this lifestyle. But Rodney O and Joe Cooley, um, when I was coming up, psh, they were everything. The beats and just, I didn't know much about the behind the scenes or anything like that. I just knew I loved their music. Well, they are uh, celebrating sort of a resurgence, a rebirth, if you will, with their song, Everlasting Bass. I'm sure you know the song. It's a classic West Coast jam. Everlasting bass. Do, 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 do. That beat is nuts. But um, Future, uh, the rapper Future and Compton's own Kendrick Lamar did a song to the remake of the beat. It's called Like That. I've played it 50 times myself in the past week and a half, but um, Rodney O and Joe and or Joe Cooley, forgive me if I don't know which one, please clear it up after this uh, story. But um, the record went gold in a week. The future and Kendrick record went gold. It went viral because that led to Kendrick dis, um, dissing Kendrick, uh, dissing J. Cole and then J. Cole came and dissed Kendrick. So it, and, and Rodney and Joe Cooley, I follow both of them on Facebook, and they, they appreciate the, uh, the resurgence of it. And I'm sure it's bringing them some money. Hopefully it is. It sounds like it is. But um, talk to me, Lonzo, about how something like that can change your life, A. Eh? And how uh, – talk to us about the come up of Rodney and Joe Cooley. Well, first of all, once again, Rodney and Joe Cooley is another tree, another limb in Lonzo's tree. How, how is that, you might ask? Well. In 1988, Lonzo, Egyptian, Egyptian lover, LA, Rudy from the L.A. Dream Team, an unknown DJ, formed a company called West Coast Record Distributors. We all had left Bacola and um, started our own independent record distribution company. 
Uh, again, I have to. I got to say this over and over again because I don't want nobody to take my credit because I'm tired of niggas trying to take take my shit. It was Lonzo's idea. Lonzo was the last one to leave Makota. He was the only one that had distribution experience throughout the country. I was selling my own records after I left Makota, and I was selling records before I got to Makota. Me and Adrian Gregory, Tupac's former manager, drove down to San, uh, drove down to um, uh, Palm Springs at a record convention and met with all the record distributors, and they said they would buy from us. Then we went back to Rainbow in Santa Monica. Steve Shelton said he would, he would press our records. We formed West Coast Record Distributors on 50, 54th and Western, right there at the old Good Fred um, Barbershop uh, building, where Good Fred distributed his own, his own hair care products back in the 70s. Good Fred was a big supporter of ours. And Rodney O was the only act that Egypt signed to his label. I'm sorry, he was one of the acts he signed to his label. He signed Little E as well. Rodney O and Joe Cooley was a one of the, one of the first acts signed by Egyptian Empire, yeah, Egyptian Empire, distributed by West Coast Record Distributors. And it, it was a big record back then. It blew up back then. So yes, once again, the tentacles of Lonzo, I, I hate to say it's all about me. I just had my hand on a lot of shit. I still do. That's how I roll. Um, again, like I told, I uh, was telling Rodney, you don't even know how I played the part of your success. Right? Up until then, there was no, there was no place for them to go. There was no place for them to go. And when Egypt, we formed that company, we dropped that song. We made a shitload of money on that damn song, uh, that, that damn album. They uh, dropped Everlasting Bass and something else. And that's when General Jeff was still with them. And um, that was that was how it happened. Then again, now, fast forward to 2024. When somebody grabs your record, it was a lot more money back in the day. It was a lot more money. Uh, going platinum, go, I mean, going gold today, it's definitely going to have an impact on their lives. Trust me, it's going to be some money made, but it might not be the same kind of money that was made in the 80s and 90s. The Master P um, snatched, turned off the lights and uh, made Mr. Ice Cream Man. My life changed for a good two years. I'm getting fat ones every quarter. Fat ones, fat ones, okay? And eventually, like everything else, they taper off. I don't know how, I know it's going to be some money. Trust me, I know it's going to be some money. I don't know if it's going to be have the same big impact because now that these the streams don't pay nowhere near what Celestial Radio pays. They don't pay the same kind of money. I don't know who the distributor is for this product. I know they basically probably basing it off of streams, which means, um, I don't know, I'd have to look at the uh, at the streaming charts to find out what's the, what's the most popular, popular, um, um uh streaming channel but i do know that based on what shannon sharp did with him and um cat williams that was fat that was fat both of them got well i don't know about both of them i know shannon he he got a fat one coming from uh youtube and wherever else he put that put that all those interviews at i don't know if it's gonna be that big but it's yet to be seen 